What's going on guys? So oftentimes when I'm usually asleep or when I'm having morning devotion, if I'm fasting, I tend to have uh, different different visions every here and there, different thoughts will pop up. Um, and I would notice that whenever I'm fasting, it will be the most clear. Uh, this morning when I was having a morning devotion, it was around, roughly around, I want to say six o'clock this morning. And it was 6.34 this morning, to be exact. And I said I would start sharing some of my visions or some of the dreams that I have with you guys. Um, if they weren't too, you know, too crazy or anything like that, I would share them with you guys. <clears throat> this one, I guess I would title it The Lion and the Narrow Road or The Narrow Road and the Lion. So it goes... I. Every time I have a vision, I'll try my best to uh, type it up so that I can, you know, have have a record of it. I had a vision about taking either a broad road or the narrow road. It was me and my family, my children, and we decided to take the narrow road, of course. There were security guards or what appeared to be military officials that were advising us not to. As we began to take the narrow road, the military officials begin to make fun of us or taunt us when we started to walk. Once we started to walk on that narrow road, we were met with a lion. At the first sight, it was really scary. It was intimidating, but something told me to ask him for protection. So I went over to him and I asked him to look over us and protect us. The lion roared really loud and then he turned his back toward us as if he was leading the way and he slowly began to walk, scanning back and forth as he began to walk. We followed and he would look in certain directions and roar as if he was telling me to pay attention to what was happening in that direction. If I walked a certain way that may not have been the right direction or that was inaccurate, he would come to me, place his paw on my shoulder and roar to let me know this is the wrong way. The lion was actually guiding us and protecting us. Also, for some reason on my YouTube, I had uh, Fred Hammond playing in the background. And one of the songs that was playing was Jesus Be a Fence. Uh, so I thought that was pretty unique that that was happening. I usually have a lot of these different types of visions. Uh, some of them seem like really distorted. Uh, some of them seem like I can make some type of sense out of them, and some of them not so much. I do my best to write down each one that I have. Um, sometimes I'll forget. Sometimes I'll literally go to type it up and just can't quite remember it. Uh, but I said I would start sharing these more and more uh, as it could mean something. Who knows? I'll be praying and asking God, you know, uh, for a better understanding of what this may mean. But um, it seemed pretty obvious that it, you know, I guess the way it, it the story kind of pans out. But who knows? Like I said, I'm not I'm no expert at visions and giving visions, but I I know that I have them quite a bit, and um, I've been writing them down for years. And so I said I would come on here and just share some of the things that I may have seen uh, with you guys. Uh, that is it for this video, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And as I said before, uh, just continue to follow God through these rough times that we're having. Uh, just stay connected to him. Follow him wherever you go. Have a good one, guys.